Oh no, I lost that chevron a fucking again. We're gonna be stuck here for a long time, aren't we? Oh my god. Just keep going. We will eventually get the numbers right. Just keep fucking wrangling the Rubik's Cube around. We will actually find the right pattern eventually. Just by sheer force of will. It will happen. Hmm. What do we do? I suppose we're gonna go valley again, because it's about the only place we can really go. Up, 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 up. Honestly, it feels like I shouldn't try be trying to actually really do anything aside from actually secure my own damage. Like, whether or not the enemy caps the base doesn't really matter to me, because it's not gonna happen in the opening stages of the game, because no one's gonna get their chevron. So, honestly, it feels like that I, as a player, should just basically drive my mouse directly into that center point up there, like the center conflict point up there, and kind of try to do as much damage as I humanly can. Or as possible, in the shortest time that I can. Without being killed. I should just kind of throw myself on the firing line, and then just start shooting at things until I drop dead. It doesn't really matter, because there's no real team play here, aside from making sure that you're not going to get killed. But these guys are going to be a bit of a fucking problem. But then again, they're held in by those guys, so we don't actually have to stay over here. And these guys are going to stop us if this T-62A dies. Which is going to happen right there. But now we're here to shoot gold and get gold shot at us by a bunch of fucking medium tanks that can still pen me at that kind of ridiculous angle but whatever the front fucking cheeks are weird sometimes they work sometimes they just don't, fucking don't yep. I need my head points thank you Ha! but I'm losing all of my fucking hit points here because they're just shooting me in the turret see this is the thing if I'm looking at them they can penetrate me but I need to look at them in order to actually fucking shoot them. So really, playing the mouse is this really fucking weird ass fucking keep away game with the front fucking turret by keeping it sort of pointed away from the enemy, but even then, they can still fucking shoot you, as seen. And of course, we're still gonna have those odd fucking angles. Oh, this is a sh this is shit. This is really shit. I still can't fucking get that penetrating shot on that guy. Oh, well, thank you for coming out. Mr. I have a fucking Clan Wars tank. Oh, well, at least the 113 th sides are fucking weak.
Okay, so this is gonna get a bit dodgy. It looks like we're whittling down their tanks faster than they're whittling down ours, though. So. Oh, no, back it up. Dan, just use the health kit. Okay, then. There's a cran wagon. We're not gonna fucking ban him frontally because fucking Swedish tank. TIE Flat Heavy can, because he's just shooting HE. Good on you, sir. There's the penetrating shot that I was looking for. Good, he's fucking dead. Fuck him. Yeah, you see, just experimenting for the fact because I've never actually shot gold with one of those things front turrets. It doesn't work. Now I know why I don't do it. We've got an example. I know it's like over 300 fucking millimeters thick effective, but now I know, yeah, you did, yeah. That basically is as impenetrable as I thought it was going to be. Sure is balanced. Then again, fucking nothing, nothing, nothing in this game is balanced. Absolutely nothing in this game is fucking balanced. It's all a lie. This, this amazing balance that we're all questing for, apparently, and all arguing for, it doesn't fucking exist in this video game, and it, the video game is so far gone that it's probably never going to exist. But, well, there we go. That's basically the entire game. Well, at least we got an we at least we got an artillery piece too this this time. How am I spotting him? How was I the person spotting him? I'm all the way in the back, and I was rounding a corner. Eh. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna get that kill, but whatever. I wasted on that med kit, but oh well, we still got money to burn. Good game, folks. Ugh, Jesus. This is a slog. Now, once again, we're here. So let's see if we can go up any higher than this. Back and forth, back and fucking forth. I need those fucking chevrons. You damn well better give them to me. This is funny, because I don't think I'm actually really going to be here to play for the next week. And then I'm not exactly sure where I'm, what, what's going to happen for the next couple of weeks, too. I mean, if I, I can't actually continue Grindfest in this capacity, but, well, you got a couple of videos on the... You got more than a couple of videos on the channel for that for a while. But I basically have to keep playing this, and it's going to be devoting basically all of my time. <laughs> You could say that I'm fully invested in rank battles. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Hmm. Well, I think we know where the enemy team is going, so hang on here, let's just uh, back up and go back into the fucking base, because we're not going to do much over here. Unless this WZ wants to fucking expose himself again. Doesn't look like it, though. 
Yeah, I think we know where the enemy is. Yeah, no, no, we don't got this. And besides, we're in it for damage. We don't care. Where is this E3 that's joking around here? Eh? You fuckers going on about? Okay, so now we get to have a shooting match with a bunch of, well... It's kind of like, this is some, like, it, it seems like in some cases this is some sort of really vague, sort of disjointed mimic of Clan Wars, but honestly it doesn't even fit the bill there. Because at least in Clan Wars you'd be trying to cap. Now we're, this is, as I said, trying to farm damage as quick as possible. Uh -uh. Yeah, I can't really pen him from here. Let's try. I tried to shoot him in the gun. It doesn't work either. Now you see how incredibly balanced the crown wagon is. Thank you, Wargaming Design Department. And by the way, if I remember correctly, the crown wagon is also ahistorical with its armor layout, which has not been fixed. A shot on the light tank in here. He's moving stuff around. Well, here we go with this shit. Now everyone's shooting at me. Okay, at least I got one damaging shot in. Alright, so there's one tank. There's the snap. There it is. Now let's see if we can actually efficiently farm. Looks like they're trying to... F yeah, they're trying to flank us, though. So, there's not really a very good defensive position over here, and I'm being backed up by a quadrate of retards. Oh, I'm sorry, a trio of retards. And being shelled repeatedly by artillery, because why would anyone shoot anyone but me? And now there, there's a leopard sneaking shots through the fucking building. There's one back at you. Still getting penetrating shots. Wow, it'd be nice if my team would actually kind of sneak up and kind of flank the enemy, but apparently that doesn't seem to be on the fucking table today. And, yeah, I just got coated by everything. There's nothing I could do there. Uh, now, you see, I'm trying to play passively here. We're trying to be sort of, like, well, kind of on the defensive here. But, well, defensive positions just come really rarely. I'm also trying to maneuver into a fight so I can shoot people. That ain't coming easily. Hmm. Things might be going our way here, though. Oh, maybe not, because auto-loaders, right guys? Balance. So now we're gonna get sent back again. Ugh, my god, this fucking Chevron's being a massive bitch, isn't it? But, maybe, maybe not. Things are kind of balancing out here. Also, I like how we got one artillery piece and the enemy got two. Yet again, what is artillery balance in this mode? It doesn't seem to actually fucking exist. Oh my. G good, good job. G exceptional job. Oh, but he's reloading now. So, you might have gotten them. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. Okay, we may have a chance here. Which is funny. Now, Conqueror, I would have shot the Object 263 because he's open top, but okay. You go do that. 
But the last pushing tanks on the enemy team are all here. And they don't seem to actually know that the Conqueror exists, but the artillery got him anyway. The two artillery that we did not actually have a, you know, a, a, a balanced amount of. This is a masterfully balanced game mode, isn't it? Oh. Evidently, the, uh, the Rhine Metal Panzer here might be able to actually get the enemy artillery and balance the numbers. But evidently, he cannot as well. Don't do that. Oh, actually, no, because artillery's broken. Well, actually, uh, artillery can't one-hit you, so just kill him. There you go. Unfortunately, Mr. T-92. One day I'll have you, but I'll know that that, 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 that shit doesn't work. You better get on the base. You better kill that fucking tank. The 140, if he plays defensively, he can reset the cap and might be able to just eke out of this entertainingly. But the Rhine Metal Panzer is gonna run right out of the fucking cap point and not actually give us the chance to win. What a genius. What are you doing? What, 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 what are you doing? The 140 could have done it. And now you're just taking an unnecessary risk. Yeah, I think it's pretty much fucking clear for everybody and everybody on Earth. You better have HE loaded. That's all I can fucking say here. Okay, right? Are you gonna do it? No, you're not! Because you didn't do anything. Good job. Amazing play. Am amazing. Absolutely amazing play by that guy. Yeah, we lost the Chevron again. We seem to be stuck here in permanent hell. Oh boy, let's just keep going. I'm, I'm, I might, I might make it to the next level tonight. Might, but I don't think I'm gonna actually gonna get at this rate. Gonna get to the, the mastery level for the mouse tonight. But holy fucking shit, this is just becoming soul crushing. About the only thing I can hope for is that this will eventually get easier. Or rather, staying in the rankings will get easier because people will then stop playing ranked battles because they don't have enough money to shoot all this fucking gold. That's about the only thing I can hope for. But realistically speaking, it really doesn't look like I'm actually going to be really doing all that much in terms of, well, just getting to, well, the top rank. One more rank four. That rank doesn't really mean anything, to be honest. I mean, it's just, uh, it's a little, it, 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 honestly, it doesn't mean that I'm perfectly skilled. It just means that I'm slightly better than accidentally getting up here. That doesn't really mean a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. It's a mark of skill, I suppose, in massive quotations, but I don't think it's actually really worth as much as you'd want it to be worth. Okay, so all the heavy tanks are going that way. What a surprise. I think we're gonna go to the low road this time. It looks like our medium tanks are gonna get fucking completely fucking clobbered over there. But, I can't do anything about that. I'm just a mouse. Uh, 
I hope you guys got a plan, but then again, they're not gonna cap immediately, so we can kind of gain this advantage. I can kind of keep going here and see what happens. Let's experiment once again. They're not gonna capture the base, because then that means that nobody gets a chevron. Or rather, not a whole lot of people are actually gonna be guaranteed a chevron. They might wind up on the bottom, so they won't do it. Actually, realistically speaking, the people who capped aren't going to get much of anything. The people down here doing all the damage to our team are actually going to be the ones doing anything. So the flankers up there really aren't going to do anything actually productive. I can game the fact that it's stat padding. Maybe a little bit kind of. Well, let's see what we can do here. Ow. Heat. Well, it looks like the majority of our team reversed back there, and now they're gonna stop any fucking cap that happens. And now we're just gonna sit here and wait. The artillery's gonna shoot at us, but... Thank you, accuracy. Actually, no, not lost right now. Uh, well, I mean, the T-92 might be lost, because he didn't actually do anything. Because he couldn't. Because we're not actually defending the base. This is not defending the base game mode. They could cap, but I don't think they're going to get very much out of it. Come on, fucker, shoot someone. Gonna get right down there in the lower hall there. Now he's gonna charge to see if we can get as much damage as possible. Kill him. Click him. Click him good. Click him good, son. Hey, click them. Oh goodness, look at these plays. Look at these amazing plays and a completely lost match. But I got 2,000 damage though. I might get something done. Maybe. We didn't kill very many enemies, so let's see what happens. <laughs> okay! I'll take losses like that all damn day! <laughs> Alright! Whatever! Quick, just get, fucking get the high road and just keep going. Holy shit! Just keep fucking going. Okay, back on the El Hauf again. Well, at least we know how to be effective on this map, kinda a little bit. At least on this side. The other side's kind of a crapshoot, but at least on this side we know what to do. We have equal numbers of fucking artillery now. <laughs> Look at that. Artie's still thinking he's the Sky Cancer. Ain't that cute. Then again, it's a Conqueror gun carriage, so it's either that or the T-92 that's gonna blap you up. Okay, so yeah, everybody goes up to that wonderful middle position and just stands there shooting at each other. And we go around the side. This is becoming rinse and repeat. At least there's some kind of 
At least on this map, there's actually a visible thing that you could follow. A visible sort of atypical deployment sort of scheme that you can understand and sort of work with. It's based entirely on maneuverability. The medium tanks get up that hill because they're faster than everything. The heavy tanks come around the side and, well, then they attempt to actually do something well, productive. But the heavy tanks are the really the ones that actually... Well, actually, no. Not the, the medium tanks, rather. The medium tanks are the really the ones that decide this match, because they get into a position where they can shoot stuff pretty pretty quickly. And it's down to the heavy tanks to actually get their asses into a line, somewhere in a line there. But it looks like that T110E5 has already broken through that entire line. Go him. We should be able to get around and do the same thing. And if we do will be able to actually do something. And also, this 140, this, these two, those two lone 140s down there will have a dual base. And a Leopard 1 breaking through. I might be able to actually get a shot on him. Hang on here. Uh, nope. Too low. Well, he's dead anyway. They're trying to be statistical outliers. They're trying to break the rules. Well, that's what they got. I'm trying to break the rules, too. However, there's at least some leeway for me to do that, because I already know what the hell's going on over here. The Batshat artillery bounced off me. Yep, 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 I took a hit. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep... Yeah, we're fine. Okay, now, with that done, now we turn the corner here and start actually cracking at things. It looks like the game's basically already decided because we've already taken the most advantageous position. An enemy's being forced back into a fucking corner. Okay, let's so now we readjust ourselves and go into side scraping mode. Activate skill. Well, looks like we're going to be outskilled by this IS-4. Rather, we're going to be in a skill off with him. Oh no, my tracks. Oh. Whatever shall I do without my tracks? Wait a minute. Nope, not low enough. The Ice 4 has a shell trap, but I might be able to abuse it here. They might have removed that. That's a really long fucking time ago in terms of metagame. Up. Well, I don't think I'm actually going to do anything if I stand here, so we got to actually got to step on the gas a little bit here and get to the front line. Wiggle waggle. Wiggity woogity. Oh. The 113 with fucking heat is doing an excellent job of fucking actually damaging me. But now he's fucking dead. And the Ice 4 is still. Is, the Ice 4 is actually shooting standard AP this entire time. He. He's trying to min max rank mode. Alright, so now we gotta get in here and get our damage. Excuse me, coming through. Excuse me, down in front! Ah, oh, well, shit. That 50 Beto, way the fuck off in the distance. So if I don't hurry to fuck up, I'm not gonna get anything done. Wow. God damn it. Where's my damage? No! 50B, give me the points. God damn it! My pints! They're slipping away! Well, if I sit here, I'll just be able to spot literally everyone left on the enemy team anyway. Alright, there's my damage. 200 damage. So I'm just gonna wait here, and then snipe people. Because I can see all the way to the capture point. Well, aside from the bat chat, way to fuck over there. Who might be AFK. And the artillery. Was now running away. God damn it. I'm always being outpaced. Where's the 50B? Oh, please. Come. No. Come. Please. Try that again. Come back. Come back. There it is. I'm still only doing like pennies of worth of damage. I might actually. I might not actually get a Chevron because I didn't do anything. 
Yeah, I'm totally bottom of the fucking board here. I did not do jack shit. Maybe someone died instantaneously. I might be ranked above them. No, Chevron! I didn't do anything. I couldn't. Fucking hell. By 21 points, though. Fucking God damn it. Well, you know, 18. But what the fuck ever. But yeah, look at that, look at that 50B, too. Also, there's a lot of unknown, unknown ones, so maybe that's not the only one that's that's actually there. But look at him, he did, thir he did 1,300 damage and he still got ranked down here. How the fuck? But whatever. At least we didn't lose a Chevron. At least we're getting better at that. At least we didn't lose the fucking Chevron entirely. Okay, Lakeville. Not the best map in the world, but we might be able to do something. Enemy team lacks heavy tanks in, well, really, well, in far and wide here. They've got an E100 and a 50B. Yeah, at 260. Object 260, because someone really wanted that, really wanted to do the missions. 215B, but I would scarcely call that a heavy tank. The only thing that's really kind of meaty here is the E100. Meanwhile, we got, well, me and two other E-100s in terms of big, really big stop you dead in your tracks heavy tanks. Well, it doesn't look like anybody's going to do anything, so let's go this way. They've got mostly medium tanks, so I don't think they're actually going to send anybody through the valley. Wet ground. Not good for medium tanks. Then again, it looks like literally no one is over here. This is ranked, not a pub. You know, honestly, aside from some dystopian things... Yeah, you see, uh, now I didn't expect literally no one to go over there. So, well, let's, uh, well, ha how about this? Let's play defensively for the opening stages of the game. Let's see what happens. Let's not advance directly down any line, because remember, we're not trying to get to the enemy base here. I know I keep making the same mistakes over fucking over again, but you know what? At least I'm still trying to, well, that's the thing. If I get what I want, it doesn't really matter, does it? I learn. I will learn eventually, or accidentally learn. And if I could, you know, break the lesson by brute force, it really doesn't really need to be learned anyway, does it? Learning might make it slightly easier, but it doesn't mean that learning is vital. Oh, hi! I can't bring my fucking gun down low enough. You fucking just... My tracks! Oh, no! He's shooting standard APCR at me, but he's still bouncing because... Well, he's still penetrating because I'm not angling. But yeah, okay, so we got one action X. And he's going that way. I'm going this way. So I'd like to know what this guy's plan is. There's a 50B, too. Okay, at least I'm going to get some damage here by deciding to come over here. At least there's that. And look at that, I was wrong about their enemy placement. One to one's got him. He only needs to do. Only, he only needs to fire one shot. There it is. And now we're gonna go kill the 50B. Hey, look! Impulse actually got me there. Good, fantastic. I'm gonna attempt to pursue against my better judgment. Though I'm probably gonna run into the fucking Schrittwagen. Looks like our team is actually losing the city pretty handily. That 50B is already fucking gone. But in this case, we might be able to get into efficient position because it doesn't look like there's anybody fucking here. Looks like the enemy team had the same idea. I'm gonna put it in first gear and I'm gonna slowly move forward. I am the slowest creeping death. Very, very slowly. Very. See? There you go. Just put it in first gear and just wait. <laughs> I 
Okay, so now we actually have an advantageous position on the enemy team. They want us to go back, though. But why? You've got a one- you've got a one two one over there at nearly full health, and an E50M. I think you could stay- I think you're pretty good against one bat shat. And I've also got the entire team left over there, that can also fire into that exact area as soon as something tries to move out. So you know what? I think you're good. And also, the mouse turning around to go all the way back up to the base after advancing past the point of no return. I don't think so. We're gonna go into the base. I don't know if we're gonna survive, but we're gonna knock some heads together. And maybe hopefully get a chevron out of the fucking deal. Ah, I fucking hit the rock. I'm just gonna get over here, and now everybody's gonna fucking shoot at me. Oh, look, there's this fucking Stritzwagen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, this is where everything comes out. Uh-oh. Well, at least I got him. Now I'm probably gonna die. You conquer a gun care. Alright, fine, whatever. I did 3,000 damage. We're gonna win. I'm, I'm gonna get that Chevron. Oh well, had to press the point and actually make them realize that we're here. I don't know what's going on with the rest of our team, though, but it looks like our artillery is doing a pretty good job of knocking out the E-100. All the guys at the base need to do is cap now. We're just waiting for the artillery to basically just ruin the rest of their day. Well, and then the fucking... Duh, the T-92 blind shots the STRV. See, now my corpse is now his defensive position. I should have moved a little bit farther onto the cap, but whatever. But okay, at least we've got another chevron. Oh, thank God, Jesus fucking Christ. Well, there's that. And he's dead, and now... Nice. Nice. Good game, folks.